Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do a makeup look using a couple new makeup products that I got. Um, where did I put them? I'm going to be using this CoverGirl, the setting powder in 110 translucent light and the new eyebrow pencil that I got. This might be a little dark, but we'll see how that works. I did want to use these lashes, but I kind of feel like I want black lashes, but these would look really cute with like a natural, just a natural look. So I'm going to save these for like a natural look. Look. Um, and then I'm going to dive into this palette here. I have not used this in a while and it's time to break it out again. So I'm going to start by priming my eyes. So I wanted to do like a different color from here than I did before because I did do pink, but I'm wearing pink. So I kind of feel like I should do a pink look because of what I'm wearing unless I go and change my shirt really quick, which maybe I should and do like maybe like a green look or an orange or purple. Let's see if I have purple. So we're going to do a blue look because I found a blue shirt. Okay. So I kind of don't want to start heavy in the crease and there's only like three, that's a really dark blue, but there's only like three blues in here and none of them are light. So I think, so I grabbed this Revolution makeup um, color palette, color book palette that has the greens and the blues in it just for a lighter blue um, as my transition shade. So I think I'm going to go with this one in the corner. And I'm just gonna lightly brush that on there. So I kind of feel like this is looking a little dark and muddy. So I'm going to take that light one right there and I'm going to brush that over top of this shade to kind of brighten it up a little bit. So now I think I'm going to go with that shade right here and that is called Angel Kitty and this is in my Lisa Frank, um, Morphe Lisa Frank palette. So we're going to get Angel Kitty and pop that in the outer corner and then we're just going to like blend it in. Then I'm gonna take that first shade, the lighter one, and I'm gonna blend it in with this. So now I'm gonna go into a third palette and this is the Magic Mini by Juvius, please. And I think I want to use this silvery blue right here called Yamoja. And I'm going to use that for my lid just because 
I think it's so gorgeous. Look at that. Ooh, that fits right in. Then we're gonna take this brush right here, just the dry brush, and we're just gonna blend it out a little bit. Just to get it all blended together nicely. But I don't want a harsh um, color on it. There we go. So now it's time to move on to the face. I'm going to use this primer because I haven't used it in a while and I kinda wanna use it up. This is the VFX Pro Camera Ready Primer by Pharmacy. I'm not an, I'm not associated with them anymore. Um, so I just kind of want to use up what I did buy and what I have. So I'm not wasting it. So I'm going to use this. So for foundation, I'm going to use, I haven't used this foundation in a really long time. So I'm excited to break this out again. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. And yeah, so I'm gonna use that. So now on to brows, I am going to be using, this is what I got from Dollar General a couple, few, several weeks ago. This is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Fill and Define Pencil Crayon in Rich Brown. Hopefully it will be um, light enough. I don't know. I kind of feel like that's as good as they're going to get. I mean, the color is a little bit off, but it's not crazy bad. So I'm going to actually take this and shape them now because I need to do that with the pencil. So, so it's not perfect, but it is what it is. This is a really nice product. Actually, it goes on really smoothly. Um, yeah, I like it. It's not exactly my, my shade. So um, I might have to get like a lighter shade. Um, it's got more of a warm hue to it than a cool. So I need more of a cool, cool tone to match my hair. But um, it is a nice product. So I paid like $1.50 for this. So, and I got two of them. Not a bad deal. Anyways. And it's a nice product. So we're going to move on to concealer. And I'm going to be using my Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue concealer in the shade 08 Light. And also, if you were wondering, I forgot to tell you what shade my foundation was. It is in Vanilla. And I apologize. My lighting changed a little bit. If you can hear on the roof, it's raining. Um... So it got a little bit darker outside and I use natural lighting in this room. So I apologize for that, but let's move on. It's now time for the setting powder. And like I said, I'm going to be using this new CoverGirl Clean Professional Setting Powder in Translucent Light. We're going to get rid of this because I don't ever use those fluffy brushes. And I'm going to use which brush? I believe this brush right here. So it looks a tad dark, but we'll see. We'll see. I got the light instead of the fair. No, it looks fine. Completely fine.
So this is actually really nice. If it were up to me, I would have gotten the fair because it does um, give me a little bit of like a tan. Um, not anything major, but also it does have kind of a perfumey smell to it. So if you are sensitive to stuff like that, I would not suggest buying this. But other than that, it lays really nicely. It doesn't feel heavy. Um, it looks nice. I like it. Okay. So moving on to contour. I'm going to be using my Ciate London um, Bamboo Bronzer in Palm Island. And I will show you. And I also forgot, and I'm going to do it now. I'm going to actually take my translucent light, light powder. Um, and I'm going to soften up the edges on my eyeshadow. The rain got louder, but that makes it so there's not like a huge, like harsh, line of color and it sort of like blends in with the rest of your face okay so now i'm going to do the rest of the under eye um makeup no i totally forgot <laughs> i totally forgot to do eyeliner and lashes you guys so for liner i just use these that i always do these are the eye method beauty eyeliner stamps the wing stamps so if you're interested in seeing how these apply, um, I will link the video in the description box down below so you can watch that video on these stamps. And it will also have the link to the product if you're interested in purchasing it. So moving on, we're gonna go to lashes. So I'm gonna use my Pink Zeo lashes in Lushy Luscious. So for some reason, my glue just did not want to stick today, but I finally got them on. So now we are going to dive back in here and we are going to put some color under my eye. So I think I'm actually going to go with this darker color right here. This is called Tycani. Tycani. I don't know, but we're going to pop that just right down there like that. We don't want too much. Just like that. That that side is perfect. Let's see if we can match. Just a little bit more. Perfect. So for blush, I'm going to use the, the Balm Cosmetics Auto Balm Girl Powder Cheeks on the Go in the shade Houston. So I went to go grab a highlighter palette and I feel like the sun just came out randomly, but um, the lighting's better. Uh, so I'm going to use my Morphe palette, my highlight palette. And I'm gonna be using ultraviolet right there. And now for, and I also did the brow bone and the inner corner with that as well. And now for um, mascara, I'm going to be using the Ico Rock Out and Lash Out Mascara in Beatnik Black. And then for lips, I'm gonna use my favorite go-to. It's my ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Sunny Side. And here's the finished look. What do you guys think? I actually really like it. I love how the blue came out. Normally, I don't do so well with blue colors, but I think this looks really cute. So, yeah. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. But that is everything for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.